Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning in, hello, my name is Renita. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks so much for stopping back by to click on another video. Well, if this is your first time clicking on a video, thank you for clicking on the video as well. So in today's video, I thought that I would show you another way in which we go about saving money. Um, I'm the one who does most the shopping for the home decor items in our home and I enjoy finding things the way that I find them. Um, but what I'll do is I'll do like a, a pan around of the, I guess it's like the great room dining area and show you what we have. I'll try to let you know where we got those items from. Um, keep in mind, only about, there's only one item in here that I know for sure is just like brand new except for like some candles but the our dining table is is a brand new item but it was purchased on clearance and like yeah candles from um bath and body works and um let me also add that any candle that i get from bath and body works i don't pay full price for them because yeah <laughs> so what i'll do is i'll do a pan around of the room and i'll try to uh, tell you where these items came from. Um, I won't be able to share the pricing for most of these items because a lot of them are older items and I don't remember all the details as far as the cost that was involved with getting them. But I'll show you around the room and, and show you and tell you where most items came from. So if you want to see, continue to watch and um, we'll talk about it as I record. So thanks again for stopping by. I'll go ahead and do a pan around of the room. Okay, so I thought I'd start over here on the far end. Zebra print chair. Um, we got it from a consignment furniture store in Colorado Springs. Uh, the name of that store was Platt Furniture. I did do a video a while back um, in Platt Furniture. You know, looking at some of their furniture, they have very nice pieces in there. So this is where that came from. I don't remember the price, but yeah, so it's a consignment piece. Uh, these two decorative, uh, whatever you want to call these things here, they came from at home. I think they were on clearance, but don't remember the price of those either. These candle holders, I bought these from like a small thrift store in Colorado Springs. Don't remember the price of these. 
this love seat is a um, a pair goes with the sofa. This this um, is also another consignment find from Platt Furniture. These are real leather, not um, you know faux leather. From Platt Furniture, those pillows are from Big Lots. I've had those for a little while also. Um, and what you will see, I mean, you know, you may be able to find a few things in here that maybe, maybe you've seen somewhere else. Not to say I don't think I'm, you know, just the only one who has a certain thing. But I try not to hop on a lot of trends um, with clothes or for me, myself. I know like the kids, that's something different, but I me i don't and i know i do have something that someone else has but for the most part I, I try not to you know jump on a lot of trends so you a lot of things that you may see in other people's homes because it is trendy you probably won't see it here now this this picture is an old picture we purchased this like right before we got married so this picture is about i think it's about 20 years old now it was a set of I think two other pictures, well, at least one other a picture. Um, so yeah, that's old. Uh, these um, prints here, whatever these canvases, I should say, here, it came as a set. I didn't have to purchase them as a set, but I did go ahead and buy them as a set because I needed something to go on. This wall and this wall over here, these came from the Salvation Army. I think they were about $6, maybe five, five or $6 a piece. So yeah, so. 10 to $12 for both of these. These end tables, when I purchased them, they were, well, when we purchased them, I should say, they were brown and I painted them black. And this came as a set of three tables. You have the two end tables. And then this coffee table, this was also brown. I painted it black. These are also from Platt Furniture. These little I think this actually came from the Dollar Tree um, some years back. And I think this was something I picked up from the thrift store. These lamps, I found these at um, the Goodwill. <laughs> and they actually, yeah, they came with the the shades on them. No, no, they didn't, I take that back. So the base of the lamp, is it came from uh, Goodwill and they were like, I think they were actually more, but the person rang them up for like $4.99. And so the, the shades came from Walmart. And it was a, just a set of two of those. Um, this I got from, this was a uh, diffuser that came from like Pier 1. And it was on clearance and I just kept the the bottle. It's just a you know decorative item. I think this may have come from the thrift store. Also, this is another... Uh, match to the other one that's on the other side table, the thrift store. Um, so now we make our way to the coffee table. This little lantern type thing came from the thrift store. Uh, these uh, drink or the uh, coasters, they were clearance at Walmart. It was about two sets of them and they were like a dollar and 50 cent for each set. This floral arrangement came from uh, Savers. It's a, another thrift store here in Kansas City. And these petals on top, they feel like real flowers, but they're not. The This uh, candle holder also came from the thrift store. It was about $4. These are Bath & Body Works candles, which are new, but you can find Bath & Body Works candles in the thrift store as well. This um, piece came from at home. It was on clearance. I don't remember the price. This rug here is pretty nice. It came from um, Bed Bath & Beyond and it was on clearance also. And I think this rug may have been if it was like $8. This was in the, I'm not you know, if you're familiar with Bed Bath & Beyond, they have, they have like a, a section that's just devoted to clearance items. And what they'll do is if an um, a item has been returned or if it's damaged in any way. I mean, it can be just, just be like the packaging or if someone ordered something online and they returned it, they'll put it back there and, you know, have it heavily discounted. So th this rug was about $8 at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, 
I don't remember the original price. It may have been like a $50 rug, I believe. And it was like $8. Um, these curtains, hold on, sorry. <laughs> See my husband's truck in the back and a lot of other stuff. Just trying to get a, a better view of these curtains because there are some nice um, light blocking curtains. I got these also from Bed Bath & Beyond and they were in the clearance section. These curtains were, they had them marked as like $50. I think they were $50 um, for each panel, I believe. Yeah, because they, but they had them marked down to $10. And so $20 for the pair of curtains. So let me just try not to give you too much light here. So with this piece here, I'm sure you may be able to tell that this was actually a dresser that I took the, uh, this is our old dresser that was in our bedroom. So I took the, the mirror off and painted it. And now I use it, you know, to store certain things in. I have um, more candles and I haven't, all the drawers haven't been fully utilized yet. Okay, so now, not, I, I was having a hard time trying to figure out how to style the top of this at first. And I think I had too much going on. Um, and my son helped, helped me and said, Mom, you need to take some of the, some of the taller things off. I had a lot of stuff that didn't quite look right. But uh, these lanterns came from, what is it? Um, Kirkland's. Okay, so these lanterns were from Kirkland's. They were on what, clearance, I believe, at the time I got them. I've had those for a while. Uh, this Another candle holder that came from um, the Salvation. Well, yeah, because one came from the thrift store, which they're all thrift stores, but the Savers Thrift Store, and I think this one came from the Salvation Army. Um, this little uh, piece here that you can, you know, put in if you choose to. I can't remember where that came from. It may have been. Let me let me see. <laughs> oh, at home. But it was on clearance. Look, I keep the, the tags on certain things so I'll just know for sure like where I got it from and how much I paid for it. So that red line indicates clearance. So I did not pay full price for it. But yeah, at home is where it came from. Um, that's a lot of picture frames that I buy, I'll just go get them from the thrift store. You can find some very good picture frames at the thrift store. This is another piece that came from at home. And um, speaking of finding good frames at the thrift store, this piece is a pretty large um, canvas. And um, an artist in Tanzania painted this and we brought it back with us from there. Uh, but it just came, just the print. They had it on, um, they had, you know, like the wood frame as far as that was holding it up in the in his shop or whatever. But they took all that off of it once we purchased it. And so we just kind of, you know, rolled it up and brought it back with us. But the frame, um, I got it from the Salvation Army. It was another picture that was in there. It's pretty large. I'm not even sure. I don't remember what the size of it is. But yeah, so. And I think that picture from the Salvation Army may have been between nine and twelve dollars so we just purchased that picture so that we can get the frame for this picture and like i said this table is the only piece that's like new and unfortunately we've someone um did scratched it thumb here so i have to find something to get that taken care of. But this was purchased at uh, Nebraska Furniture Mart here in um, Kansas City. And this was purchased new, but it was clearance. Uh, this piece, I think it may have come from a thrift store as well as this. And I just threw some, you know, fake flowers in it. Uh, those little mirror type things that came from the Goodwill and those candles may have come from Ross, I believe, or somewhere like that. Um, you know, it's been bad those for a while. And this mirror here is another piece. This mirror 
it wasn't per. I was, about, I was about to say it was purchased at the same time as this picture over here, but it wasn't. But this mirror is another one that is, um, excuse the floors. I'm sorry. It's old. So yeah, this, this mirror is about 20 years old. If it's not already 20 years old, so it should be, yeah, maybe 20 years old next month, but yeah, it's a 20 year old mirror. So yeah, that's it for this room. I think that you could, can have nice things and be able to do, um, you know, nice decor, be able to decorate nice to your liking without breaking the bank too much. Um, this clock over here, I also will add, it came from Bed Bath & Beyond. And this clock was like a $60 clock and it was on clearance back there in the back with things that people, you know, change their mind about or whatever the case may be. But it came from the back and it was about $8.99, um, which it was regular $60, but I purchased it um, brand new, but yeah. So yeah, you can have nice things. And I'm not saying everything needs to just come from a, a thrift store consignment. So I don't have a problem with doing that, but I know that's not everybody's taste um, or what they choose to do. But there are ways that you can have things that can be nice and which you don't have to, you know, spend a whole lot of money. It can be done even today. Yeah, so there, that's it. That's our front room area. Um, my take on frugal chic. <laughs> so let me know in the comments. Do you um, decorate or purchase decor items from the thrift stores or consignment stores or yard sales? And um, and also let me know. What's, what's the, the biggest thing that you feel like you, you know, have scored the most if you purchased something from those places? But I hope you enjoyed my um, take on how I choose to decorate and using items that are, you know, less costly, thrifted, consigned items. Um, it works for us. I enjoyed doing it. I'm, I'm not the type... Either we don't, I don't change out, you know, furniture every two years or whatever, you know, I believe in, you know, taking care of what you have and, you know, making it, making it count. Uh, but I do like to, you know, for the seasons, I will change out, you know, I do that like for spring and fall and, um, yeah, the summertime, I'll probably change, you know, what I have here on the table as far as the flowers and pieces like this, I'll change those out. And, you know, my front door, I do have, like, wreaths out there. But as far as, like, just changing furniture every year, we're not the ones that do that. But, like I said, I hope you enjoyed me showing you uh, some of the things I have purchased over the years and, you know, where they came from. Um, yeah, so this is our space, our frugal, chic space i hope you enjoyed the video thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel already i would appreciate it if you would go ahead and do that also but again thanks so much for watching and until the next video i will see you later bye bye